from the nation's capital, Eye on Washington with Merrily Joyce. A weekly discussion about the federal issues most important to Nevada. And now, from Washington, D.C., here's Merrily Joyce. And good day to you. I'm Merrily Joyce. This is Eye on Washington, the only statewide Nevada news program produced in Washington, D.C. Every week, Eye on Washington takes you straight to Capitol Hill for a discussion with Nevada's delegation and other leaders about the federal matters that matter to you. Today's topic is your child growing outward. Obesity among Nevada children is on the rise and here to help us update you about the problem, its possible causes, and what can be done to promote better health for our kids is our very special guest, Margot Wutan. She is the Director for Nutrition Policy at the Center for Science in the Public Interest. And thanks for being here again. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Childhood obesity is a major health Problem. It has doubled in the United States in children. It has quadrupled in adolescents since the 1980s. And Nevada children are mirroring the trend. So today on Ion Washington, we're going to share the latest Nevada statistics on childhood overweight and obesity. We'll learn which behaviors appear to most impact your child's weight. We'll find out some top ways to help improve our kids' health. And we'll ask my guest what she believes is the federal role in combating this weight problem. Well, according to the most recent report from the Nevada Institute for Children's Research and Policy, girth is on the rise among the state's youngsters. In 2016, the report says 20.5% of Nevada youth were obese. A year later, that was up to 21.2%. And if you think a 0.7% increase in a year is no big deal, I want you to consider this. According to the American Journal for Clinical Nutrition, multiple Multiple studies have shown the association between pediatric adolescent and adolescent obesity and obesity in adults. In other words, fat kids are likelier to remain fat in adulthood. That obesity is linked with a multitude of health maladies. The journal report, Childhood Obesity and Adult Morbidities, tells of the consequences. It says obese children are likelier to have early puberty, type 2 diabetes, and increased incidence of metabolic syndrome while young as well as to remain obese in adulthood and that is particularly troublesome going from being an obese child to an obese adult is associated with cardiovascular disease several cancers diabetes and several other illnesses later in life likely through uh, insulin resistance and production of inflammatory cytokines so uh, Ms. Wutan first of all welcome back to our show um, we're going to gonna here. thank you. We're going to talk about some of the top causes uh, of obesity among kids. How to reduce the obesity rate later in the program. But I thought we'd talk about some of the reasons to take childhood obesity very seriously. We're, we're learning more and more uh, that a, a child doesn't if a child doesn't drop the weight and remains obese into adulthood, he's really courting disease. Can you help us understand that correlation? Yeah, prevention is absolutely the key. It's much easier to prevent weight gain over time than it is mm -hmm. to lose weight and keep it off. And so as you said, a child who's overweight from a young age is more likely to be overweight and obese at an older age and then into adulthood. You do see some health effects in childhood. You already start to see high blood insulin levels and blood sugar levels and higher blood pressure in childhood. But then we're mm. really becomes problematic is in adulthood, where obesity is directly linked to type 2 diabetes. In fact, most diabetes is due to poor nutrition and physical inactivity and obesity. And heart disease, so high blood pressure, high cholesterol, leading to heart attacks and strokes. Mm. And as you mentioned, a number of different cancers. So, you know, a lot of times people think about their weight as a matter of appearance, you know, because you see it in the mirror, mm -hmm. you see it in mm -hmm. your children every day, but it really is one of the biggest determinants of how long you live, how well you live, whether you end up with these very serious and costly diseases. So what you're saying is it, it matters more what's going on on the inside than necessarily how you're looking on the outside. Yeah, what you see on the outside is, you know, pales in That's comparison mm. to what happens on exactly. the inside. And you know, most people would be surprised to know that what they eat actually is the biggest cause of death and disease, you know, even more so than smoking. Wow. 
It's amazing. You know, you know, when I first began my research for our show, uh, I, I saw that overweight numbers are down a couple of percentage points between that 2016-2017 that report. And I thought, hooray. But then right away I saw obesity is up. So isn't it possible that uh, more than that, that uh, more than half percent increase in overweight kids is actually the overweight becoming obese? I actually see from the national numbers some cause for cautious optimism. Mm. We saw obesity rates going up very steeply from the 1970s to the early 2000s. And then that climb was still happening, but it started to slow down. And in the last five years, nationally overweight and obesity is relatively oh, flat. Okay. And so I think some Although of- Although in Nevada, the kids, it is up. Yeah, yeah. It, so kids nationally, we're seeing some progress. So okay. we need to figure out what what how we can help Nevada kids um, get into that trend. And then the, this flattening out of the curve is happening at way too high a rate, with a third of kids either overweight or obese, leading to 70% wow. of adults being overweight, obese. I mean, what other health problem faces the country where the majority of us are struggling with it? And when we return, is your child too heavy? Let's define overweight and obesity and find out from my guests how to get kids from heavy to healthy. We're gonna ask her right after this. You're watching Eye on Washington with Marilee Joyce, brought to you by Caesars Entertainment, the Regional Transportation Commission of Washoe County, the Las Vegas Sands Corporation, the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority, NV Energy, Jim Marsh Automotive and Body Shop, the Rogich Communications Group, and Renown Health. I have three tests next week. I'm gonna be studying all weekend. Ugh. Are you studying tonight? We can meet up and study together. Oh yeah, that sounds good. What time? Um, I work until six. Okay, sounds good. Just text me after. Okay. No! There is no text, tweet, or call that's worth a life. One pedestrian death is one too many. Look up. And look out for each other. Want more federal news that affects Nevada, its businesses, and its residents? Then you need to subscribe to Nevada's Washington Watch Newsletter, your sole source of online news direct from Washington, D.C. Visit JoyceCommunications.com and subscribe today. Planet Hollywood, Paris, Paris, Caesars Palace, it's one of the most exciting skylines in the world, Las Vegas. Caesars Entertainment has nearly 50 casinos worldwide, including these. But no matter which casino you visit, we want you to play responsibly. And if you need help setting or keeping a limit, we hope you'll call this number. You see, we know you're coming to our casinos to have a good time, and we always want you to leave feeling like you did. I got my own iPod Touch and used my dad's login to get on gambling sites. Poker is the best, but I'm losing a lot. Since I'm too young to play, they're not allowed to keep the money and my dad won't find out. That's right, isn't it? There is no known safe amount of marijuana used during pregnancy. Everything a mother eats, drinks, or smokes affects her developing baby or enters her breast milk. Just like alcohol and tobacco, using marijuana can have negative effects on your baby. Using any form of marijuana may be harmful to your baby during pregnancy and while breastfeeding. Marijuana can affect your ability to care for your baby or someone else's baby. If you're pregnant or a new mother and using marijuana, you are urged to quit. Visit SoberMomsHealthyBabies.org or call 211. And welcome back to Eye on Washington, our look at childhood obesity and what my guest believe and says needs to be done to get heavy Nevada kids healthy. She is Margo Wutan, the Director of Nutrition Policy at the Center for Science in the Public Interest. Well, we've told you that obesity among Nevada children is on the rise. So let's spend this segment learning if your child is among them and what to do if so. First, we should tell you that sometimes a child carrying extra pounds doesn't fit the definition and that's because some children have larger than average body frames and because uh, children normally carry different amounts of body fat at various stages of development. But if you are concerned, you should see your pediatrician who will calculate your child's body mass index or BMI and determine where it falls on the BMI for age growth chart. Using the growth chart, your doctor determines your child's percentile, meaning how your child compares with other children of the same 
sex and age. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says BMI between the 85th and 94th percentiles is overweight. BMI in the 95th percentile or above classifies as obese. And expect a blood test for cholesterol and blood sugar as well. Uh, Ms. Hutan, now of course we should bear in mind that, that BMI does not consider body frames or, or being more muscular than average. Children normally carry different amounts of fat, different stage of development, as I mentioned. But otherwise, is it fairly obvious to a parent if their child is overweight or obese? It might be fairly obvious to their health care provider, but oftentimes parents don't see it in the child that they love, mm. right? We just see this beautiful child that, um, that we love no matter how they are. And so oftentimes parents don't notice that their child has moved into the overweight or obese category. So good to talk to your health care provider. For all children, no matter their weight, Good nutrition and physical activity are essential for good health. They're important for children's health now while in childhood, but then also to help them cultivate sure. good habits that will last a lifetime. So that you're teaching them young and it's in their head, here's how I can eat healthier. Absolutely, to make it a habit. So many of our food choices are made on autopilot subconsciously. You know, we just sure. eat the way we've always eaten. And so to get those good habits locked in in childhood are really important. Yeah, so let's talk about the causes. You know, the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition that I cited last segment, it, it, it has this. Currently, the most important factors underlying the obesity epidemic are the current opportunities for energy intake coupled with limited energy expenditure. It's kind of a, a fancy uh, way of uh, beating the drum many here, but don't dance to too much food, too little movement, right? It is very hard for parents to feed their children healthfully in America today. Everywhere we go, we're surrounded by food. Think about like taking your kid to run errands you go to the hardware store, to the office supply store, to the drug store, to the convenience store, every every single errand, your child is just bombarded mm. with opportunities and marketing to eat candy, chips, and soda, and other sugary drinks. That kind of proximity is one of the most powerful forms of marketing. We've been asking retailers to do right by parents and kids and get the junk food out of the checkout. The whole point of it there is to induce people to buy food they didn't really want. And so just take it out. If you want candy for your child, go down the candy aisle. Another big thing that we've been working with is with restaurants. Because when you take your kid out to eat, which lots of parents rely on restaurants these days to feed their kids mm -hmm. and their, you know, themselves, that if you look at the children's menu, they're horrific, right? It's cheeseburgers, chicken, fried chicken tenders, a side of fries and a soda. And that is cultivating bad eating out habits for a lifetime. Why do you want them to pick on that menu when they're directly, out? Can you always find something? Well, it depends. We're asking restaurants to offer more healthy options. At half of the biggest chain restaurants, there's not a single healthy item Is that right? on the menu. And at the others, there are very few. Not even uh, things that you can get uh, grilled instead of fried well, or Well, nothing healthy on the, on the children's menu. Oh, I see. So, you know, a lot of times what parents Parents would like to order off the kids' menu because it's less expensive, mm. but oftentimes it's just so unhealthy it's not really an option. Right. What I often did with my daughter when she was little was to order something healthy for myself and share it with her. Oh, and that's a way to save money and also yeah. get healthy food for her. We have the specialist here, uh, you. <laughs> so if a child is obese due to something that can be uh, impacted, you know, too much food, too little movement, et cetera, how does that child go about weight reduction? So healthy eating is important for all kids. So I think for all kids, try to feed them about half their plate should be fruits and vegetables. Their grains, we're eating too many refined grains, white flour, pasta, white bread, make the grains whole grain, and then choose a healthy lean protein like fish or chicken or plant protein. Okay. That's good for all kids. And if your child has a very severe problem, you know, then go to a healthcare professional and get some help. Sounds good. When we return, What's going on in Congress and in the state to address childhood obesity? We're going to tell you right after this. Nevada's direct link to Capitol Hill. Eye on Washington with Merrilee Joyce. 
the only statewide Nevada news show based in Washington, D.C. All the top federal matters that matter most to Nevadans. Merrily talks with our congressional delegation and other leaders about the federal news you need to know. Eye on Washington with Merrily Joyce. Nevada's Eye on Capitol Hill. When you think RTC, what comes to mind? How about jobs? RTC road projects bring thousands of jobs to Washoe County, expanding and connecting Northern Nevada, growing our local economy, providing the more secure future for our residents and their families. So when you think jobs, think RTC. Your RTC, the RTC of Washoe County. Soldiers in the Army National Guard serve to give back to their country and communities. Their part-time commitment qualifies them for an array of benefits, such as affordable health and life insurance benefits, education benefits, including tuition assistance, student loan repayment, and GI Bill programs, a retirement plan based on part-time service, and VA home mortgages. Visit NationalGuard.com to learn more about all the benefits available in the Army National Guard. Planet Hollywood, Paris, Paris, Caesar's Palace. It's one of the most exciting skylines in the world, Las Vegas. Caesar's Entertainment has nearly 50 casinos worldwide, including these. But no matter which casino you visit, we want you to play responsibly. And if you need help setting or keeping a limit, we hope you'll call this number. You see, we know you're coming to our casinos to have a good time. And we always want you to leave feeling like you did. My name is Blake. I received a heart transplant when I was two weeks old. I play defense for the Red Hot Tornadoes. Sometimes my heart starts pounding like faster and faster as I go. I know I have someone else's heart inside me. It makes me feel happy because someone was generous enough to give me a second chance to live. This gift of life was made possible by an organ donor. Imagine what you could make possible. Sign up as an organ, eye, and tissue donor. Go to organdonor.gov. Safety, we all think about it. You think about it when he buckles in, when you check your mirrors and put away your phone. RTC thinks about safety too. In fact, we create it. Center turn lanes mean fewer blind spots. Bike lanes keep cyclists and you safe. Roundabouts reduce injury collisions, and all these crosswalks are designed to keep families like yours safe. Safety is your priority, and it's ours too. Every day, in everything we do. And welcome back to Eye on Washington, our look at childhood obesity and what my guests believe need to be done to improve the health of obese Nevada children. We've been visiting with Ms. Margot Wu-Tan, the Director of Nutrition Policy at the Center for the Science in the Public Interest. So let's look now at federal and state efforts to address childhood obesity. In 2018, U.S. Senator Catherine Cortez Masto co-authored the Tribal Nutrition Improvement Act, which seeks to allow tribes to administer federal programs that provide free, healthy meals to children in schools. The bill says Native American children are at a much higher risk of suffering from hunger and from nutrition-related diseases like obesity and diabetes. Then Congress Congressman and now U.S. Senator Jackie Rosen is the co-sponsor of the Treat and Reduce Obesity Act, which addresses all ages and aims to coordinate programs treating obesity. Meanwhile, uh, Nevada elected legislation last session to collect more information about the problem. Senate Bill 165, signed into law by Governor Sandoval in 2017, aims to make, quote, various changes concerning the prevention and treatment of obesity and specifically, Ms. Wutan, uh, uh, the um, state bill defines the term obesity as a chronic disease. It requires the Division of Public and Behavioral Health of the Department of Health and Human Services to prepare an annual report on obesity, requires certain school districts to collect data concerning the height and weight of pupils. So that's a little handful of uh, legislative efforts for our audience, but I want to get your thoughts on this. Do law 
lawmakers have a role here, or is it solely the parent, the school, the doctor, with the responsibility to address this? Or again, is there a federal and a state role as well? What are your thoughts? We all have a role to play. It's so hard for parents to feed their children well these days that we need to try to support them in their efforts. So of course, parents have a responsibility. But schools also, where kids are eating about half of their calories on school days, especially for low-income children, mm. we need to make sure that school meals are healthy. And the Trump administration is trying to roll back some of the school nutrition standards and weaken them, even though things have been going quite so, well. What is the lawmaker's role? The, um, so making sure to keep these school nutrition standards strong at the federal level, Congress can step in and prevent some of these rollbacks. And at the state and local level, they can make sure to continue to implement the strong nutrition standards that have that they have been over the last few years. Another thing is to work with restaurants. As I mentioned before, restaurant children's meals are a nutritional sure. disaster. And so restaurants have a responsibility to offer and promote healthy options, take the soda off the kids' menu like McDonald's and Burger mm. King and Wendy's are doing. All restaurants should do that. And in some communities, they're actually so frustrated with how unhealthy children's menus are that they've passed policies to make improvements. So that's something that Nevada could do at the state level or that counties or cities could do. The one other thing that communities are doing is taking the junk food out of the checkout to try to reduce conflict between parents and their kids and keep the retailers oh, and the candy makers from prompting children to want and eat that stuff right more at the, candy. the point of purchase. Absolutely. It's right there at children's eye level and parents don't want to buy it, but they end up in conflict with their kids. Their kids end up sometimes just grabbing it and throwing it onto the belt without them <laughs> noticing. I'm tired parents, And yeah. the whole idea of that is aggressive marketing to push kids to eat more calories, which just isn't right given how big this obesity problem is. Okay. And when we return, just who is Marga Wutan? And how is she and her National Alliance for Nutrition and Activity making a difference in the obesity crisis? We're gonna tell you that's coming up next. Planet Hollywood, Paris, Paris, Caesar's Palace, it's one of the most exciting skylines in the world, Las Vegas. Caesars Entertainment has nearly 50 casinos worldwide, including these. But no matter which casino you visit, we want you to play responsibly. And if you need help setting or keeping a limit, we hope you'll call this number. You see, we know you're coming to our casinos to have a good time, and we always want you to leave feeling like you did. Nevada's direct link to Capitol Hill Eye on Washington with Merrilee Joyce, the only statewide Nevada news show based in Washington, D.C. All the top federal matters that matter most to Nevadans. Merrilee talks with our congressional delegation and other leaders about the federal news you need to know. Eye on Washington with Merrilee Joyce, Nevada's Eye on Capitol Hill. I got my own iPod Touch and used my dad's login to get on gambling sites. Poker is the best, but I'm losing a lot. Since I'm too young to play, they're not allowed to keep the money and my dad won't find out. That's right, isn't it? Are you studying tonight? We can meet up and study together. Just text me after. Okay. No! There is no text, tweet, or call that's worth a life. One pedestrian death is one too many. Look up. And look out for each other. Millions plan for retirement online. Estimate your future benefits, apply for retirement, and manage your benefits all from the comfort of your home. And give yourself the freedom to do what you want offline. Social Security's online services help put you in control with secure access to your information anytime, anywhere, allowing you to spend more time with family, friends, or simply just enjoying the day. Social Security, securing today and tomorrow. See what you can do online at socialsecurity.gov.
U.S. taxpayer expense. Want more federal news that affects Nevada, its businesses, and its residents? Then you need to subscribe to Nevada's Washington Watch Newsletter, your sole source of online news direct from Washington, D.C. Visit JoyceCommunications.com and subscribe today. And welcome back to our closing segment of today's Eye on Washington. We've learned so much today about Nevada's childhood obesity problem from our special guest, Ms. Margot Wu-Tan, the Director of Nutrition Policy for the Center for Science in the Public Interest. So let's spend some time now learning a little more about Ms. Wu-Tan. We can find out why she has received numerous awards and is quoted regularly in the nation's major media. Margot Wu-Tan is the Director of Nutrition Policy at the Center for Science in the Public Interest. Interest. She is the co-founder of the National Alliance for Nutrition and Activity and the Food Marketing Work Group. She's coordinated and led efforts to require calorie labeling at uh, fast food and other chain restaurants, require trans fat labeling on packaged foods, improve school foods, reduce junk food marketing aimed at children, and expand the nutrition and physical activity program at the CDC. And uh, Ms. Wutan, we, we talked about something when you were here last time, and I, I want to revisit because it fits well into our topic today, and that is your role in requiring labeling at fast food restaurants and trans fat labeling on packaged foods. I think that many people might say if you eat a fast food meal occasionally, you're not likely to become obese, but do you have some studies or research into any links between a high amount of fast food meals and obesity, and particularly childhood obesity? Well, studies show that when you eat out, you tend to eat less healthfully than when you eat at home. People eat more calories with big portions, drink more soda, and not eat as many fruits and vegetables. So our diets are worse when we eat out compared to home. Mm -hmm. The least restaurants can do is to give people information so that they can make their own choice. And from just really simple swaps, you can cut hundreds to even thousands of calories from your meal at a restaurant. You know, Oftentimes people think like if you go to a fast food restaurant, you're in trouble, right? It's all bad, but it's not true. Fast food restaurants have big 700 sure. calorie hamburgers and smaller 250 calorie hamburgers. We just have a couple seconds uh, left on the show, but I, I do want to bring it back real quick to Congress's top role in reversing childhood obesity. I want to know, how do you work with legislators on the Hill to get your message to them? Well, in past years, we passed this national law to get calorie labeling in restaurants. We've improved school foods. We've worked with the FDA to get trans fat out of the food system. Congress and the administration have a big role to play, and they need to step up. Thank you so much for being here. Hope to have you on again. Thanks. And thank you so much for being here today. And that does wrap up today's Eye on Washington. We are always here for you, though. You can just go to our website, JoyceCommunications.com. And while you're there, check out all the federal issues that impact you in Nevada. You can like us on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and catch up with any shows you may have missed on our YouTube page. Thanks again for joining us on Eye on Washington. I'm Marilee Joyce in Washington, D.C. Have a great day. Thank you for watching Eye on Washington with Marilee Joyce. Eye on Washington with Marilee Joyce airs statewide in Nevada solely due to the generosity of our sponsors. Can your company help us continue our mission to remain Nevada's top source of federal news? If you can help us help Nevadans, please visit JoyceCommunications.com slash WordPress slash EOW sponsors and join us today. That's JoyceCommunications.com slash WordPress slash EOW sponsors. Thank you.